Okay, y'all. We got the lightning to SD card adapter. Period. I'm so excited to use it. The way that technology exists in this day, like, wow. I'm amazed. It is a really big blessing to have the lightning to SD card. No, no, no. SD card to lightning adapter. Extreme blessing to have that. And then iCloud, two terabyte. What a blessing to have that. I still have it for like almost a whole month until I got to pay it again. It's about 20 days because I just paid it about maybe 10 days ago or something like that. So I got to make sure to count my blessings to understand what a big deal that is to have that resource because I have to make money like ASAP. And I know I can. And that little SD card adapter, it just makes it so much more convenient, you know? Even more convenient than plugging the adapter into the laptop and then airdropping from the laptop to the phone. Like this is just, it just makes sense, you know? And then when I upgrade my phone, I'll be able to use the lightning adapter there. So really great. No, 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 no. When I upgrade my phone, I'll be able to use the, the USB-C adapter, um, USB-C to SD adapter that I already have. So thankfully, I got my adapters on deck. You know what I mean? I mean, photography is integral to what I do. Even if I do music. Even if I'm doing music, photography is still part of how we communicate the entire vision. Video is how we communicate the entire vision. And um, right now, since we're filming in 1080p, it's like the miniaturization of the, of the video files. It just feels really really good and effortless and really quick because we were doing 4k um now we're doing 1080 and it works for now little squirrel i do got to order from instacart um some groceries and some toilet paper first and foremost like toilet paper i need to order you know what i mean um you know, basically, I could have essentially gone to Best Buy to buy the thing in person, but it's like, no. Well, actually, I wouldn't have been able to use Klarna in person, um, but it was better to order it online because um, it takes up a lot of time, even though it's, an ex it's a good experience to go to Best Buy, but, um, you know, Lyft costs money, and it might have ended up just slightly cheaper or more affordable to take... Uh, to order through Instacart. So I will be ordering groceries through Instacart today um, and toilet paper, but I could do that from the gym. I don't have to go home to order Instacart and I was gonna make the mistake of going home and dwelling on my little, I guess I feel a little lazy right now and it's like, no, you must combat it by working out and inspiring yourself that way. That's like, when I'm done working out, I always feel inspired, you know? So, I need to tap into that feeling right now. So, I was at the gymnasium today and I just decided to come home. Let me tell you guys why. I didn't want to be a bad vibe. Like, I think I'm a good person. I think I have good vibes, but in that moment where I was sitting down and trying to order my groceries with Klarna, I felt like a, you know, like a sensation that I should just come home and take care of business, you know? And then go and work out, have fun, undivided attention, and have fun, and then go watch The Haunting of Hill House later tonight, the, the play, right? But yeah, I, I just felt like coming home because I was sitting there for a while just um, thinking like, you know, uh, I guess financially negative things, like, um, dang, like, I'm ordering my groceries with, with Klarna, like, dang. You know, I felt kind of like, you know, not so good about that, but it's like, in one way I could think that, but in another way I just gotta be like, thank you God for giving me this opportunity to have food and to order things and maybe I'm financing it, but everything will be okay. And like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta prov provide value. I gotta do things of service to people if I'm gonna expect getting money in return. So I gotta work, you know? Um, but I've always felt like I serve a better purpose uh, doing my own thing than doing someone else's thing, like, um, at a nine to five sometimes. 
And that's not saying anything bad about anyone's jobs because I feel like there are a lot of people that bring me a lot of value in their jobs. But it's just like, when I've put this much work into photography, I want to use it, you know? And that means directing that energy in a proper way. Because if I, if I just never promote photography, then how are people going to know that I'm even doing it? So it's like expecting to get like something without even asking for it. And whenever I'm not like asking for it, like by promoting my stuff, then how are people even going to know I do photography? Um, and again, this is not to like downplay the importance of people working nine to fives. Like I understand when people are like, don't work a nine to five, that's trash. Like whatever. To me, that's not trash. Like to me, that is very important to me. We're always interacting with people who are working. What is that noise? Um, to me, we're, I understand we're always interacting with people that are working. It's just that when you have a different goal, when you're in a nine to five and you already have a plan or a vision, like I can start my business, I can do this, I can do that. Then you, you can feel disappointed in yourself if you're at a nine to five instead of doing what your heart is calling you to do, you know? I'm extremely blessed y'all. I got my water, I got my beans, my chips. Um, I got toilet paper. I got everything I need for like a solid week and a half y'all. I know I can make things happen. I put my freezer stuff in the freezer. I got my um, pico de gallo with guacamole that I'm gonna eat right now. Very, very thankful. Got my phone right here editing my vlog. Thank you guys for being here with me.